This is Mike Henshaw, County Extension Coordinator with the Winston County Office of the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. And I'd like to take just a minute to show how to use Bing Maps in order to calculate an area. And this will be to calculate the area of a pond or a field. In agriculture and natural resources, it's often important to measure the area of a field or pond, and there's not a simple way to do it for some landowners. And this tool will give landowners a way that they can measure an area and they won't have to install any software or purchase any software or have any special tools in order to be able to do it. They will need to have access to the internet uh, and a computer with web browser to be able to do this. And I'm starting off on the Alabama Cooperative Extension System web page and I'm going to navigate from there to the web, web page to Bing Maps and demonstrate how to measure the acreage of a pond. Now, we just type in Bing into the search engine. We get uh, results back for Bing and click on that. And this is the main web page for Bing. Bing is a product uh, by Microsoft. It's a search engine. And one of the uh, applications that they have on that page is uh, a link to the Bing Maps. And so we'll click on that and uh, we, we come up to a, a map. Now the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, in this case, is, is log in. I'm going to do this to save a little time, but it's, it's possible to measure the area of a, a, a pond or field without going through this step, but you will have to log in in order to save your work and to be able to access it later. All right, so we're at the, uh, the map of the United States, and I'm going to zoom into an area near Double Springs, Alabama. And I can zoom by double clicking or by clicking the zoom button. And I'll just keep going in until I reach uh, an area. And at this stage, I can see the the road map and I can see some shading on the map that has to do with the terrain of that area. But I can't see any fields and I can't see the pond that I'm interested in. I need to switch to the aerial photography view. And we do that by going up to the uh, menu at the top of the web page and we hover over this black triangle and we have a choice here called aerial. So I'll select that and now we get the aerial photography. So uh, locate the area I'm interested in, keep zooming in, and uh, this is the pond, and I want to make this as large on the screen as I can, so I'm going to zoom in maybe one more step, and that makes it large on the screen, and that, that's a good good size for, for measuring the area. Um, the next step is to go over here to My Places and click on that and it pulls up a My Places editor and a little window. Unfortunately, it's covering the pond and it's in the way, so I can drag that over here and drop it and it doesn't interfere with the area I'm going to measure. Um, at the bottom of this window are some tools and the one that I'm interested in is the mark and the area on the map. And so I select that tool and my arrow where my cursor was has turned into a crosshairs. Now to start measuring, I'm going to click and release on the shoreline of the pond to start and that leaves a yellow marker and when I move away from that, it has a green line and a stretch out here. And I could go anywhere with that but I'm going to drop another marker and release and keep going along the shoreline of the pond like this and for my purposes uh, on measuring this pond it's not important to be terribly accurate so I'm not taking a lot of time placing these as precisely as I could often when measuring areas in natural resources if we can get within 10 percent we've got a very useful measurement and uh, now in this area there's some trees obscuring the shoreline of the pond so I'm just going to guess 
at where that is. Now, this completes the area, and to, to finish this measurement, I'm going to double click on it, and it's going to bring up a window, and it's asking for a name. We'll name it after the landowner. Call it the Peak Pond. It's going to be the, the title of it. Save that. And it now has an item on the My Places Editor window. And the important thing that we're interested in is this area. It says it's 141,705 square feet. But in natural resources and in agriculture, we normally use acres. And so we need to convert that. And I'm just going to take a pocket calculator that I have here and take 741,705 square feet and divide it by 43,560, which is the number of square feet in an acre. And I will come out to approximately 3.3 acres. And that's the information I was looking for. Uh, I now have the acreage of the pond. But I'd like to save this because I may want to refer back to it later. So it tells me I have not saved it yet. So I'm going to click Save Now. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, name it the Peak Pond. And I'm add the information that's 3.3 acres. It also has a choice to turn on sharing uh, and I'm or let others copy items from this list of places. I don't have a problem with that, so I'm going to hit save. And now this should be available now for where I could come back and look at it later. I could even look at it on a smartphone if it had internet access and could, could navigate to this uh, Bing Maps web page. So that's just a review of how to measure an area with Bing Maps. Uh, it's a tool that any landowner could use. There's no charge for the software to use the site and uh, is accessible to any landowner that has uh, access to the internet and a computer to use. So this is Mike Kenshaw, County Extension Coordinator with the Winston County Office of the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. Thanks.